Yeah, beat your addiction, live free Ralph Freed Ricks is who you see Listen in when you're feeling low Take back your life, today's show Beat your addiction, live free Ralph Freed Ricks is who you see Listen in when you're feeling low Take back your life, today's show Stay positive, hope, and keep faith Stand strong against any odds that you face Put away the alcohol and the drugs Fill your time with the things you love Addiction is tough, but it's worth the work Treat your body what it's worth Spread positivity, inspire all If we stand together, we will never fall I help others see the other sides of life A soul of life, letting go of the strife So give me a call, I can help 1-844-405 Help Homeless shelters, hospitals, jails, wherever you are I am Ralph Friedrichs and I am here for you 1-844-405 Help Hello, my name is Ralph Friedrichs. I'm an addiction recovery coach and the host of the Take Your Life Back Today show. As an addiction recovery coach, I want to share something with you. Let me be crystal clear to leave an everlasting impact upon you. Imagine, just imagine being buried alive. You're in a coffin, but you know you're not dead. You don't know how to get out of that coffin. You tried lifting your lid, but the enormous weight upon the lid prevents you from opening. You then try banging on the lid to hopefully unsettle the dirt and maybe somebody will dig their way down towards you. This is what it's like to feel at the lowest point of alcohol and drug addiction. You know you need help, you know you can't do it on your own, but you don't know where to turn. In reality, there are people probably standing by your grave. You just don't know that. You just think you're going to die. Usually, though, people don't think about death when they're habitually abusing drugs and alcohol. In order to feed an addiction, you have to be great at repressing the fear of death. I often ask you, my audience, did it ever cross your mind? That maybe, just maybe, you might take something away that God had given you called life. And if that's not selfish enough, what about taking the life away from the people that love and count on you most? Mother, father, brother, sister, husband, wife, children, even your grandchildren. With this, let me leave one last thought. Don't be like the person that I just spoke about that waited and waited until it was too late to reach out for help. Pick up the phone or call me at 844-405-HELP and I promise I'll help you take your life back. Don't forget to thank God each and every day for your home, your house, your food, your clothing, your health, your relationship. Ask God for guidance, direction, forgiveness, and mercy. Each and every day, use the power of prayer to reach out to God. Believe me, your day, one day, will be your last day. And this is what I'm talking about today. How to live today as if it was your last day and still enjoy. As you head into today, I want you to consider your actions on this very day. Consider everything you do today only. What are you going to do today that matters to the world? What are you going to do today that matters to you? Will it be the day that makes a difference for you or makes a difference to the world? Or will today be, well, just another day? What are you doing today? We often get so caught up in the daily life that we lose sight of what really, really matters in our lives. Worse, it becomes a repeating cycle where we hurriedly do the same things each and every day. If we are not doing the same things that matter most, then it becomes a destructive pattern. Steve Jobs, the co-founder of Apple, had a powerful view on this topic at one point in his life. God rest his soul. If today were the last day of my life, he says, would I want to do what I'm about to do today? Think about that. Whenever the answer has been no for too many days in a row, I know I need to change something immediately. Steve Jobs said that. If this were your last day today, how would you approach it any different than the prior days? Would you want to do uh, what you're going to do today anyway if you knew it was your last day? Or would you change something? Would you live for today? In when a phrase, live today as it was your last day, is used, people think about being irresponsible. However, living each day as if it was your last day is not about being reckless at all, my friends. Rather, it's about living the, each day as if it mattered the way you lived that day. Here are eight ways to live today as if it was your last day and still enjoy it. Tell people what you really think. Tell them. Life is too short for lies, half-truths, and beating around the bush. 
tell the truth to others, to loved ones, and especially to yourself. Give 100%. Every day counts, and it's up to you to make it count. Don't give it half of your effort. Give it 100%. Always give 100%. Always do your best, and always be proud of that you gave it all. Do something that you believe in. If you only had one day, would you be doing what you're doing today, right now? Make sure you believe in the activities you're doing. Does your work matter today if it was your last day? Tell those that you care about, that you care about them, that you love them, that don't miss an opportunity to tell each other how you mean to each other or what you mean to each other. Tell your loved ones an opportunity to tell others what they mean to you as well. Also tell your loved ones every day how much they matter to you. Tell others that you can, uh, uh, that you like them and care about them. And by all means, express your inner feelings to the person that you are too shy to approach. Do what's important today as if it was your last day. It is easy to get bogged down in a minute of our fast-paced world. Take a minute to stop and ensure that you are not just busy, but you're doing what's the most important to you. Do that thing that you have been meaning to do. We all have limited time on this earth, don't we know that? The catch is, is that you don't know how much time you have. Don't delay your passion and your dreams. Some people put off things for their entire lives until it's too late. Have a life. You do have time if you're watching me right now. Spend it wisely. Go on a date. Spend time with the kids. Get out and do something special. Enjoy today as if it was your last day. It doesn't matter whether it's raining or it just got off to a bad start your day. Never give up the chance to enjoy today. A bad day today always beats tomorrow, especially if there is no tomorrow. Make today matter. Live every day as if it was your last day. Your time is limited, so don't waste it living in someone else's life. Your day is what you make of it. Make it count. Repeat tomorrow and every day after that. I have a question for you, and answer this very honestly. If today was your last day, what would you want to do just for today? Who would you want to speak to? What would you say? How would you approach as the morning passes, midday, and the evening knowing at midnight your end is here? If today was your last day, would you want to do what you are doing today? Or would you change something? And if the answer is you would change something, then do it. Pretend each and every day is your last day on earth. My friends, one day, I promise you, all of us will have a last day. No one can predict it. Only the Almighty God knows. But if you treat each and every day as if it was your last day on earth, you'll be doing justice, not only to yourself, but to the people around you. And may God bless you.
but never got an answer and wondered if God was really there. Did you feel all hope was gone? But in his time he came along and answered the prayer you thought was gone. There is no prayer to song, for God hears them all. The answer may not be just what you but he always knows what's right Even when we think it's wrong Just remember there is no prayer too small I have a ready for you We'll ask you shall receive is just exactly what we need. There is no prayer to song, for God hears them all. The answer may not be just what you Just remember